Arugula is a crisp, lesser known green that many people don't grow, but you should. It grows fast and adds a peppery flavor to meals. It is in the brassica family and grows well in cool weather. Arugula has a mustard-like flavor and is also described as having a spicy, peppery taste. It adds a bit of tang to your salads or stir fries and is a great addition to sandwiches. Arugula grows quickly and likes cool weather. I typically grow it with lettuce and other greens. Just keep in mind that for crop rotation, it is a brassica. It's often part of mescaline seed mixes. It matures in 21 days for baby leaf and 38 days for full size. Welcome to my channel. I'm Amy, a master gardener and environmental educator. I talk about organic gardening and wildlife conservation topics. Plant seeds about half an inch deep in the potting soil or directly in the garden. If you are direct sowing, aim for about two inches between each seed for baby leaf and five to six inches for full leaf. Gently cover the seeds with a thin layer of fine soil. Water with water the newly planted seeds using a gentle spray or watering can. The soil should be moist, but not waterlogged. Start sowing as early as you can in spring. They will germinate well in temperatures between 40 to 55 degrees Fahrenheit. Seeds take about one week to germinate. Arugula likes fertile, well-draining soil, so start by loosening it with a garden fork or a tiller. Remember any rocks or debris and break up any clumps. Add some organic matter like compost or well-rotted manure to improve fertility and moisture retention. Once your arugula seedlings have grown a few inches tall, thin them out to allow proper airflow and give each plant enough space to grow. Space them about six inches apart. Arugula is a fast growing crop, so you can sow new seeds every few weeks for a continuous supply of fresh greens. Sow it in the spring and again in the fall. Like many greens, it does not like summer heat although it will grow in part shade during the summer. Keep an eye out for weeds that might compete with your arugula for nutrients and water. Like other leafy greens, they need moist soil and do well with drip irrigation. When hand watering, remember to water the ground, not the plant. This is a no-no. Watering overhead can spread fungal diseases, and yes, I do understand that happens naturally when it rains. Arugula is also popular for microgreens. Just sprinkle seeds on moist so soil and lightly cover. When seedlings are two to three inches tall, just snip them off with scissors, rinse and enjoy. Arugula makes a great fall crop that does well under row cover or in an unheated hoop house. Fedco says that arugula has tolerated temperatures down to 14 degrees Fahrenheit when under a double covered row cover. Arugula also does well in raised beds or containers. If you're doing the square foot gardening method, you would plant four per square, or you can plant four in a seven gallon grow bag. So arugula is prone to my nemesis, the flea beetle which eats the leaves. They have hard exoskeletons and are hard to kill. I have a video on flea beetles, but my top suggestion is using row cover on young plants. This will keep the flea beetles off your plants. Monterey organic insect spray also helps if you have a bad infestation. You can harvest leaves or the whole plant. Use scissors to snip the leaves off. Choose the outer leaves to harvest, leaving the inner ones to continue growing. Arugula seeds are used to make taramira or jamba oil. Popular oil in Asia for cooking, it can also be used topically on the hair and the skin. Let me know in the comments if you decide to give arugula a try this season. Thanks for watching, and please like and subscribe to my channel. Hoping you have a fabulous day.